I have no clue what it is, but at the top, there's a white line. I thought it was cataracts, but cataracts develop in the cornea first. That used to be a lot bigger on both my eyes. And I didn't know what it was, but I just intuitively knew to use diluted DMSO in spring water as eye drops, and it's reducing. Here I have a 100 milliliter dark amber glass bottle with a dropper. The thing with DMSO is you don't want to expose it to air. So what I do is I just simply squeeze the top so this has some in it, place my finger over this to protect this, and then it's just... <laughs> And as long as it's in there, whew. So for me, my eyes are very dry because it's very dry in here. And that's why, you know, the, ah, the reaction. It's not because this is strong. You don't ever want to use straight DMSO in your eyes because it burns. So you want to dilute it. And that's why just a little wee bit, like a quarter of a teaspoon of that in 100 milliliters of spring water, or if you're on a well, you can use well water. You could probably use distilled water as well, as long as it's a clean water source. So I wouldn't use tap water. Personally, I would never use tap water in my eyes at all. One eye drop per eye in the morning and one eye drop per eye at night. So something you'll notice after you put the eye drops in is that the blood vessels in your eye, can you see that? They get really red, but that'll pass really quickly. It's just that it's revealing that the blood vessels are absorbing the DMSO. I've never had flukes in my eye region, but I suspect if you did, that DMSO just might help. 